So we got to talk about the A9 III. This camera is probably one of the best cameras that has literally dropped. It is the first mirrorless camera that has a global shutter. Now, if you don't know what a global shutter is, essentially what a global shutter does, it reads out the whole sensor at once. So it's not reading from top to bottom, it's actually reading the whole sensor out. So when it comes to photographers and flash sync, you can have almost unlimited flash sync. I think the shutter speed goes up to 180,000th of a second, which is ridiculously fast. And then when it comes to sports and wildlife photography, you're not gonna get rolling shutter issues with you know, the jello effect. When it comes to baseball bats and tennis rackets, you're literally going to capture that single frame exactly how you see it in real life. So we got a lot to get through in this video. What's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. So we're gonna be talking about the A9 III, which Sony just announced today. And the biggest thing that I'm actually excited about is this sensor and where it's going to leak down into the Sony Alpha cameras or other cameras, because it's a global shuttle sensor, it's 24 megapixels. It gives you so much ability in photography and videography. And this really does just show Sony's ability to really create and be above the rest and try things out before everyone else does it. Now, one of the most interesting things when it comes to photography is the pre-shooting. So essentially it captures up to one second before you take the photo. So it's very similar to pre-shooting when it comes to videos where it's already recording. This is already taking photos for you before the action actually happens. So it is really good for sports and wildlife photographers so they don't miss any kind of action. Now, one interesting thing is they do have a speed boost button that's on sort of like your little finger there when it wraps around the grip. Essentially, if you're taking photos at 20 frames per second, you literally hit that and it goes all the way up to 120 frames per second just to allow you to capture more. So essentially, it's just like your drive mode changing it automatically for you. And like I said before, you're able to shoot at 180 thousandth of a second, which is an incredibly fast shutter speed. So you won't even have to be capped at 180 thousandth of a second like a lot of other cameras were able to do. And the biggest thing with this global shutter is the flash sync because you're gonna get some banding effects in your photos because if the shutter speed was too fast for you actually taking the photos with the light, you'll get a whole bunch of lines coming down because the sensor reads out like this, but because it's a global shutter sensor, it reads that single image all at once. Now, just a couple of quick specs as well. It does have dual SD card and dual type A card. It's got that 9.44 million dot EVF, which came in the A7S III and really leaks down to this. And a lot of photographers will absolutely love this. Now, it also has that four axis tilt screen, just exactly the same as the A7R5. So you can flip it up, you can flip it across, you can flip it uh, downwards. There's so many different angles you can utilize this screen with. It is literally the best screen you can yet. Now it also does have that brand new AI processor that's inside uh, most of the new Sony cameras, which allows you for that super fast autofocus system and a few other features that that AI processor actually gives you. Now about the video specs, they did say it will be able to film up to 4K at 120 frames per second uh, with S-Log or S-Cine Tone as well, which is pretty incredible. But one of the things that I'm really curious about is how much dynamic range is actually in this S-Log because with a lot of global shutter sensors, you are sacrificing a dynamic range. But I wonder what Sony are going to be doing because usually their dynamic range is class leading. But predominantly, this camera is designed for professional photographers and obviously video shooters won't really be choosing this camera, but you still obviously can because a lot of the Sony Alpha cameras have really amazing video features. I'm just excited to see what this sensor is going to do when it comes to leaking into other cameras because we all know that Sony love using the sensors in so many other different camera bodies. Will we actually see this in the new FX line? Because a global shutter sensor will rival the Komodo quite well. So this is very interesting to see what Sony are going to be doing with this sensor and pushing the limits in other cameras. Now, one of the most interesting things about this A93 is that essentially it's better than the A1. This seems like the flagship camera that can really do photography well and really do video 
fairly decent. Obviously, it's a 24 megapixel sensor, so it's not that 50 megapixel stack sensor where the A1 gives you the ability to film in 8K. 24 megapixels is very similar to like 6K, so it could have the ability to do 6K. But what does this mean for the A1 Mark II now? Because uh, obviously, the A1 Mark II is meant to be the flagship. It's obviously going to have features just like this, maybe even more. So my mind is blown right now. Over to you, my friends. I just wanted to share this news on my channel because I know I reach a whole bunch of different people to other channels, and I want to know your thoughts of what you expect from the A1 Mark II and all the other Sony cameras that would potentially be coming, especially with this global shutter sensor, and what Sony are willing to do you know, to beat the competition because they are innovating and bringing out amazing things all the time. So if you aren't on Team Sony, I mean, it's a pretty damn good time to switch over to the system and start investing in their glass. Wow, let me know in the comments below because uh, this is mind blowing, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.